Ever been in a bunker with an extremely high lip? Do you have trouble with catching shots thin or heavy? My name is Sean McTurnan and you're watching another episode of My Golf Tutor, the number one place on the internet to play your best golf now. Welcome back. Today's question comes from Teddy. He says, hey Sean, uh, my home course has extremely high lips on every bunker and I really struggle to get out of them. Any advice on how to get more height on my bunker shots? Teddy, before we get into technique, there's a couple of things I'd like to share with you before we do. Uh, the best players in the world, they all use the bounce of the club. So what that means, Teddy, is when they are coming down into the sand, the back of the club is touching the sand first. You never see the leading edge coming in. Um, this is one of the main reasons why people chunk shots and catch them heavy because the leading edge comes in and it just makes it very very difficult to be consistent. From a setup perspective before we go to hit these high bunker shots there's a couple of things we need to do. The first thing is we need to get the ball slightly forward in our stance and our weight 50-50. This is very important for bunker shots. For me I like to stand a slight little bit open for those of you who get down lower, you'll stand a little bit more square and we'll show you exactly what that means in our next segment. In order to hit these high bunker shots that you're looking for, the first thing I want to talk about is opening up the face. It's very important that to get the height that you're looking for that we open up the face and add loft. The second thing I want to talk about is setup. You're going to have probably 50-50 as regards your weight distribution. And as regards standing open to the pin, that's personal preference. For me, I like to stand maybe two, three yards open. Some people like to aim square, that's fine. Uh, the one thing that I do see with some of my students who come to me is when I ask them to open up the face, they feel that it's pointing way to the right. And what I wanna show you today is, is that there's a difference between where the face is pointing and where the loft of the club is pointing. Um, when I was 15, I was introduced to a tool. It's a little magnet. When I was on our Irish national team, our coach introduced us to this. And it gave me a whole new understanding of where the loft of the club is pointing when I get into my setup. So Josh is going to help me here uh, illustrate exactly what I mean. So I'm getting into my setup at 50-50. I'm a fraction open and uh, I have the face wide open with the bow with the bounce exposed to the sand so Josh if you could just uh, come in here and just put the uh... so as you can see the face is wide open but the loft of the face I would imagine is pointing somewhat in the general direction of the pin and for those of us who like to get down really low and wide you can see that the lower I get the more the face points left so in this example here, my face, it looks like it's pointing over here, but because I'm down low, you can see the loft of the face is pointing to the left of the target. So for those of you who are down low, I would suggest aiming square. For me, I like to uh, aim just a little, set up just a little bit open and get my weight 50, 50, and set the face like that. Now that we've given you some good fundamentals to execute this bunker shot, there's a couple of other little things that I would like to add to help you to generate the height that you're looking for to get out of these bunkers with the steep lips. So the first thing I want you to work on, Teddy, after you get your setup correct and you have the face lying nicely open, is on your backswing, I would actually like you to rotate the face open a little bit more. This is going to expose the bounce even more and add a little more loft to the club. One final thing that I would like you to think about to help you get that height that you're looking for. We uh, obviously we get our setup right, we get 50-50. For me, I like to play the ball just maybe slightly forward in my stance. We're going to get a little club face rotation on the backswing. But on the way down, I want you to feel that the head and the handle line up. And what I mean by that is I don't want to see your hands lead too much and I don't want to see a scoop. We're going to feel that they're just going to line up 
exactly like this at impact. I hope this helped Teddy and if you or anyone else watching has a question about your golf game, please leave it in the comment section below. And if you haven't already, go to mygolftutor.com and sign up for our email newsletter where I share my best tips. So get on our email list now. Until next time, if you're not hitting them long and straight, make sure you have a short game that can get you out of trouble.